Hi and welcome to 47G Update. Before we go any further, we invite you to follow us on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. This is how we keep you updated with everything happening with 47G all abroad. So we know you are accustomed to seeing what's happening inside 47G. Today, in the first of this two-part feature, we will take you outside and we will show you what the maintenance department has been up to. The local church here at 47G Old Oak Road is in the process of building the edifice in which we worship. We have been at it for a while now and it is the plan of our an expectation of our pastor to have the opening in December of this year. As a result of that, the men's ministry department has taken on the challenge to do as much of the work to get the structure, the grounds and the building ready for the opening. So, so far, we have rendered the wall, the perimeter walls, and today, and well, we have also on the pavement we are now standing, um, this was done recently by the men's ministry department. And we are continuing today to pave the side. So what you're seeing happening here is that we are putting down material because we are gonna be paving the side, just as was done here in order to prepare the grounds for completion and finishing to meet that opening in December. This initiative was a chance for the men to work together. But just who were we expecting to see? Well, we expect the support of all our men, young and old. Um, as you can see, there are some here already. Um, but also, interestingly, many of our ladies do come and support this project because although it is spearheaded by the men's ministry, we have excellent support from the ladies also. So it really is a team effort um, that we are working together as one to do complete the house of God. Work was on the way and there was much to do. Members and men from the community who were also invited wasted no time in tackling the task ahead. While not everyone was a skilled worker, those who were offered guidance and even taught us how to mix cement. Oh, yeah, so yeah, you see the water now? The water is to go and soak it because we don't really ready, but when you, when you soak it, it is easier to mix. You don't have to carry water and throw water. Water is already in the sand. Oh. You just need a few. We just turn the shovel that it can be mixed with the cement. And that's it. So less time, less time, less time. Despite the heat of the sun, we started to see the efforts of teamwork in action. The atmosphere was a cheerful one and the energy was just right. Um, we are off to what I consider to be a, a great start. We have quite a team of people working, as you can see. We have catched the levels and we have just commenced paving up the area. Um, so that's what it's looking like so far. We are about, I would say maybe about 20% there at this time and it's going well. It's a hot day though, so every now and then we have to cool down. But the team is working and, and it's going well so far.
But of course by now you must be wondering. Warm to the food. I'm a female, yes, and this is a, a project from the men's ministry department. But as a member of the church, I thought it was only fit for me to come and assist. I may not be doing the actual mixing of the mortar or carrying up the, the barrow, but I'm actually in the kitchen where we are preparing the food for the people to eat. The one here we are eat, we will eat rice and peas and chicken. Vegetable pan to the Saturday, yes. I will have mango juice mixed with tang and syrup and woolly ginger. Oh, as we were saying, we have Auntie Gladine in the kitchen sharing the rice and peas. Normally, rice and peas look on a Sunday to the name Saturday. We have rice and peas and we have chicken. When me tell you, say, taste good, smell good. As me say, all I own there, my saraphone for going to the Aki and Savage the Rona. Yes, so, home. We have the ackee and the salt fish. Can you know we can't lift out the national dish, right? Yes, pan the wood fire. Yes, and you know when you food cook pan the wood fire, it tastes even better. And we have the cornmeal dumpling. No white flour dumpling, no, it's cornmeal dumpling. Yes, with banana, proper dumpling. Strong dumpling because I do strong work. Yes, and if you come for the back of me now, me show you the jug with the juice. Yes, we have we vegetable here. As I tell you, you know, it's on the dinner pan Saturday. Yes, everything turn up. And as me say, come on now, tap out the juice. Yes, it now sweet and it now fresh. It is just right. You know, we're doing a great work. Um, if you realize that everybody is together pulling, pulling steadily. And if you look right over there, you can see we have at least half of the job already. Because we're going just about down that side. And then by the next hour and a half, you know, we should finish it. Lunchtime was over and it was back to work. But no sooner had the members started working, the heavens made way, putting a halt to the day's proceedings. And after all was said and done, the day had come to an end. Alright, we are here and as you can see it is just about the end of the day. We are wrapping up what has been a great day, had some challenges and a nice show of rain that ampered the progress for a bit. But nonetheless, God helped us and we accomplished most of what we set out to accomplish today. We have just a little bit here, a small area that we need to finish, but God is good and we have been able to pave half of the area that we, we had. Now, I want to thank these two people, this gentleman and this wonderful lady who really work hard today to help us to achieve what we have achieved. And all the others who have worked hard, Donald, Marvel, everybody did a fantastic job and God helped us and we have done well. We look forward to two Saturdays from today when we will finish the rest of this side. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Thanks for watching and stay tuned as we give you an update on the men's ministry project here at 47G Olo Road. On behalf of 47G Productions, see you next time.